Hello, Floss Tube. Uh, today is Wednesday, uh, May 29th. Uh, the, uh, I'm Elizabeth Martinez, Fanta Stitches. Uh, today, May 29th, 2019. Uh, and, and this is my Floss Tube update number 66. Uh, it's the almost end of Mania. Uh, uh, we're going to talk about cross stitch. And uh, for those who might be seeing this video, uh, who might have never watched a floss tube video, um, Mania is uh, in takes place in the month of May, uh, and people uh, it's just an excuse to like sort of you know uh, do something outrageous, I, I guess, or or something uh, a little more involved with cross stitching. You can stitch 31 new starts, or you can do um, uh, 19 days for uh, 2019. So you can do uh, whips, new starts, whatever, you know, uh, or you can do a, a monogamania. has been something that some people do, which where they take one, one project and work on it for the whole month of May or whatever. Anyway, so... Um, I had decided to do uh, this uh, series of tall ships and uh, a new one every Wednesday, and then this week, the twenty, the week of the twenty ninth, uh, which is is just a short short week, three days, and oh, today happens to be my older brother's birthday. Happy birthday to him! He doesn't watch these, <laughs> but anyway, so he's uh, you know, my siblings and I are all uh, older now. My younger sister is in her fifties, early fifties you now, and my my brother is, uh, just turns um, sixty two, I think, um, today. So yeah, we're all older. Um, my mom, uh, I'm interrupting my talk about floss too, but anyway, <laughs> today is my brother's birthday, so um, <clears throat> uh, my mom years ago. Uh, had run into somebody at the grocery store and they asked, you know, how are your kids? You know, and she was like, oh, they're fine. And then she said, she got to thinking later on, she's like, they're not kids, they're all middle-aged. So, yeah. Anyway, today's my brother's birthday. Uh, and so, he, you know, he lives he lives in New Mexico and we all live in Arizona. And um, But uh, <laughs> we inadvertently celebrated his birthday by going to Cracker Barrel, and, you know. And my dad had a little banana banana putting uh dessert that they they gave us for various reasons but you know we we said it was it was for Tim's birthday that's why he had it anyway today i i digressed uh but it, today is the 29th of may so it's sort of almost the end of mania and it's the last wednesday of may so i did different uh projects each wednesday i switched uh, project. So this last week, I did uh, Ronnie Rowe's uh, Ship Serenity. It's one of his pen and ink drawings. So it's designed uh, to be monochromatic, and it's and it, and he. I think it, uh, the model stitching is like uh, just plain black on plain white uh, uh, stitching, but you can basically use whatever you know color combination you want. So all of my. Uh, uh, ship projects are on this uh, fabric that I dyed, this sort of blue color. And they're all on even weave, 28 count even weave. So they're all tied together in that way, and they're all uh, slightly different. But um, last week I I, um, I showed how far I had gotten on on the this ship. And I, worked, I was working, you know, from starting in the center... So I was right around uh, in here, some whoop, wait, wrong one. Here, uh, uh, working on this this sail, I think, uh, in this area here. Um, but I had talked about how I wasn't real, um, really, really happy with the color. I like the color well enough, but um, it was a light blue. I decided to do it differently, right? I decided to do a light blue 
on uh, this this fabric because my original idea uh, of using a darker blue uh, number 823 um, I was afraid it would not it wouldn't wouldn't show up well or would be too dark or something on this fabric but then I but then when I was stitching on it with the other what uh, color I chose which was a light blue um, you know it looks it looks like blue when you look at it but on this fabric it looked very white it looked just like like I was stitching with white and so uh, I had done um, I'm just tr you know you, you can't really um, it's not designed to be stitched like you know okay this is a sale and you saw you know solid colors of uh, uh, like the other uh, ship designs I was doing. It's very pixelated, you know. And so uh, I was uh, just going like by the little 10 by 10 blocks, you know, and um, st st stitching that way. And I had done about seven, seven or eight uh, of, these, of these blocks um, and had you know and was just starting to 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 switch over i was i was gonna switch over to do um my next the next set of 10 or whatever uh, 10 by 10 and i had talked about how i wasn't real happy with the color so on i i thought about it for quite a while <laughs> and decided i would start over again so that meant that I, well, what I did, did was I, I went on to the next section I was going to stitch and I put a few stitches in there in the new color. Uh, and I did use 823, it's a dark blue, uh, it's not exactly a navy blue, it's a sort of a, but it's dark. Uh, so I did a few stitches in that color to see if it would look good on the fabric. And I liked the way it looked. So I pulled out, I spent Sunday unstitching, pulled out all those white, uh, light blue, I should say, <laughs> light blue stitches. I pulled them all out and it was, it was, you know, it was, it took me quite a while. But anyway, so I restitched it all in dark blue, in this dark blue color. And I'm very happy with it. This is the, uh, this lower section here, this is what I had done in the in the lighter blue color. So I pulled it all out and redid the whole thing. Um, it was up to about right here, this uh, line across here. So I had done all of this area and I pulled it all out on Sunday. That's what I spent m almost all day Sunday doing. Um, and then I restitched it uh, in this dark blue color, and I had started, you know, just to restitch this. I mean, to stitch this area here in the dark blue to see if I liked it. And so then, so then, what I, so once I did this, redid this, then I was adding on here. So that's as far as I got. So I did lose a day's worth of stitching because I I redid this, but I um I, I'm more pleased with it. And it, you know, it maybe it looks a little, looks like black or something on the on the video, but it's it's a it's a dark blue color. And it looks pretty blue. Anyway, um, so so I'm gonna continue on in this color, and I and I will have to buy more skeins of it because I, you know I I had bought uh several skeins of the light blue color, so, light blue color, so now. I just have a lot. <laughs> I have a lot of them, and I'm have to, gonna have to buy some more of this eventually. But for now, um, uh, you know, I had enough to do this much so far. So, so when the time comes that I need more, I'll get more. So, but anyway, so that's the Roddy Row ship Serenity. So since today is Wednesday, uh, um, I had a new prod project, and I had. Uh, decided um, that I would do uh, for the next few days um, the Hello Pumpkin Sal uh, from uh, Caterpillar Cross Stitch. Um, 
the new, I mean, the, the first part of it came out, uh, May 16th or 17th, 16th, and, um, but I put off doing it, any of it until, uh, today, uh, because it was, I had decided it was my end of May project, so, uh, this is as much as I did. Um, I was a little bit nervous about this fabric, whether the colors would look good on it, um, because they're very bright colors, and this is a very pink, um, this is, um, avocado dyed. I used, I dyed this fabric, it was white even weave, and I dyed it using avocado skins and avocado pits. Uh, and I, 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 I must have had, I think I, I, this one I had like, like four skins and pits and I, and I boiled it for a long time and I left the fabric in for a long time. So it came out very, uh, very nicely pinky. It does have a white, a white patch on it somewhere. I don't know if you can see. Oh, it's, it's kind of underneath the, the, this little oval hoop. It's kind of right here. There's a patch of white that I guess wasn't, maybe the fabric wasn't submerged right there or something. But uh, anyway, it's, it's got a big white spot in it. But the overall design I, is is um, sort of a tree shape. Uh, so this is, this is going to be the trunk of the tree eventually. And there's like some big pumpkins down here. And then, and then the top of the tree is made up of just of branches and leaves. But it's very colorful, so I think the um, that white spot that's on the fabric will be you know mostly covered over with uh, uh, the leaves and stuff that are that are on there. So I just got a, a start on it. <laughs> I I I very proudly did the this yellow leaf thing, but I did it over here the wrong way. <laughs> and I, and I, I looked at the instructions that said, you know, that it was, uh, pattern is portrait in orientation. It says that very clearly. And I looked right at it and I did it in landscape, in, you know, the wrong direction. So I had to pull it all out. And fortunately it was just this, just this little leaf, just three little rows, but I pulled it all out and, and did it, redid it. And then uh, went on from uh, there. I'm I'm stitching the tree trunk. I'm in the process of doing that. So um, and I don't have a real good picture. I want I'll, I'll just show a quick. Whoop. There it is. So it's it's gonna be colorful and it's you know and there's a, a mushroom and some pumpkins. <laughs> yeah. Um. But. Um, I've seen there there are images of of uh sort of you know with all the 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 little sections to come kind of blurred out but um but i I guess when I printed it off, I don't know if I didn't uh have that overall design or I didn't print it off or whatever but i don't have I don't have a good uh picture of it anyway that's what i'm I'm working on for the next few days the last the tail end of May. Um, hopefully I'll be able to make some good progress on it. I have tonight and tomorrow and Friday, and then, uh, May is over with, Mania is over with, and I'll have to decide from there what to do. I did, uh, spend some time, uh, I, I, uh, did my, uh, um, revised my little, um, decision roulette wheel, uh, I, I sort of, I did one that has sort of like, which wheel am I going to spin? And then, um, and then in each wheel, I sort of, you know, made sure that I had, like, I have one that has, uh, uh, my Stitch 9 projects and one that has my ship projects and one that has, uh, this Hello Pumpkin and, and, uh, and the, uh, Sleepy Hollow, uh, fall uh tiny modernist salad that's gonna come out it's gonna start uh july 1st uh, and then the um and the other halloween chart that um, that uh, gloria my one of my viewers one of my subscribers sent me um 
so I have those three fall charts on, on one wheel by itself. And um, the one thing I haven't done yet is picked fabric for the uh, Sleepy Hollow um, sow because um, in order to do the three, the four uh, stackable drums, uh, I have to look more, uh, more uh, specifically at the at the requirements, the fabric requirements for that. But what I want to do is is um, I have a couple of pieces of I think I have uh, some undyed white even weave um, but I don't know if that's big enough and then I have a big piece of uh, white um, Ada cloth that I got at uh, the from the stitch Nanigans freebie table it was a, just a it's a big 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 piece of Ada cloth so I might uh, I might do that. Um, but I also have some stuff in my, in my stash, so I'm going to see if I have, like, a, a big enough piece in there for the, for the, um, tiny, tiny modernist, uh, uh, project. But what I would like to do is, um, make, make a piece of more Halloween-y kind of cloth. So, um, I have, I have some brown and some sort of wine red, and and the the evening blue uh, shade, but I was thinking about like you know looking to see um, if I can find a a little bit more Halloweenish you know might be a green and some gray and you know something along those lines uh, to sort of you know uh, make it, the fabric you know sort of blotchy colors uh, those Halloweenish colors. Um, I have to look again at the at the uh, the color list, you know, the 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 on the tiny modernist sal to see, you know, what uh, what will work on that fabric, and then uh, also to see if I have something in this in my stash of fabric that I that could be used for that or you know whatever. So I, I haven't gone that far yet, but that's my uh, going to be one of my fall projects also. So that starts on. July 1st so I have I have about a month to decide and to choose and, and all that but um so today when I uh, was going to start the the Hello Pumpkin sale one thing uh, that I've been um, that I knew I needed to do was um, I, I uh, one of the one of the uh, threads that's uh, called for with the Hello Pumpkin sal, this is 3835, um, and it's sort of a, a purplish, pink, light light purple color. Anyway, it's it's one of the ones uh, on the Hello Pumpkin sal, and and for some reason either I didn't have this color, or uh, or I couldn't find it. It's just you know amongst my project somewhere, but I kind of think I didn't have it. Anyway, so I I had to go buy this so I went to Hobby Lobby to get this color uh, thread and while I was there since you know the thread is cheap and all that I went ahead and bought a few things so I bought some magnets and you can't tell them in this package but there are six total here uh, and they have like a little scale on the back of like you know uh, one to ten about how strong they are and these are number ten they're very very strong um, these silver magnets they have some that are like two and some that are seven and and these that are ten um, and then I bought uh, some uh, this yarnology is a, a brand they carry there and but I bought some these are thread bobbins there's are kitties and these are you can't see it very well I take that out of the package I'm gonna take it out right now um, but uh, they had like some that were um, uh, like uh, cactus and I think llamas, three cactus and three llamas or something like that. And then this one with uh, the dogs and cats. Um, but uh, so mm, get them out. Yeah. so here's the little doggies. 
and they have a little slit right there for the thread. So there's the dogs, and these are the cats. And you know, obviously they're they uh, <laughs> they won't fit in my uh, floss boxes, but they're kind of nice to put, like you know, if you in you know, a notion's pouch or something like that. If you have, uh, so yeah, they're kind of cute. So. I got those, and I got, uh, I use hoops, you know, rather than few snaps, but anyway, so I got a new a little hoop, and this one, for some reason, is all sparkly, it's, uh, it's sparkles, <laughs> it's, it's, uh, I guess, a, a particular kind that Anchor makes that have sparkles in them, I don't know if they're intended to be, like, you know, like, for, they had some that were, uh, you know, different colors, like for finishing, you know, something. So I, I don't know if that's why it's got sparkles or whatever, but, you know, so. Anyway, that's that's all my haul that I got. Uh, so this is just a, a quickie update because I was changing projects. So on Saturday, um, I hope to be able to sort of do a, a sort of mania wrap-up video of uh, all the uh, the projects that I did, just a recap of ooh, sorry of uh of the projects and then by then i uh, will have uh gotten as far as i've gotten on the uh, uh on the hello pumpkin one um get hopefully maybe i'll be able to finish that i kind of doubt it but i'll i hopefully will make have made some significant uh progress on that by then and then uh, Mania will be over, and I don't know what uh, what I'm going to do after that. Maybe I'll, I'll spin my wheel and see what comes up and uh, do some, some work on something else. Um, I would like to get the, my Stitch, the Stitch 9 projects um, further along. There, there are two or three of them that have just been languishing. I haven't done anything at all on them. Um, so, I don't know. I, I, I'm getting a little uncomfortable with as many things as I have going on. I was looking at my my little decision roulettes, and, and some of them are, are things I haven't started yet, things that, that are, are, you know, like new start. I have a wheel that has new start stuff on it, and and, um, and actually I, there's some other, some new charts that I bought since I did that wheel that, um, that aren't on there. And I'd like to get them all on there, and then all the... My whips that are sort of in my bin that are older, I'd like to get those all uh, on on the on a wheel as well, so that everything <laughs> that I have is on there, so I can say, okay, I'm gonna start something, or I'm gonna work on this, or whatever. Maybe I won't do the new any new starts until I get some of the the whips out of the way. But uh, but I'm, I have a feeling that the the four uh, ships that I'm doing, for, that I had done for Mania, um, yeah, those are all uh, sort of longish projects. They're all in the, about the one to, almost 200 to 200 range um, uh, as far as, you know, height and width, height and width goes. Um, so, you know, they're not anything that I can finish anytime soon, but, um, but hopefully I'll, I'll, I, again, I can make some progress on, on some of those. I have a lot of stuff to work on. It, it, like I said, it kind of bothers me to sort of not have them done. Of course, I've got a little stack of them in my FFO pile. I mean, you know, to be FFO'd. Um, and I would like to sort of, you know, work on those as well. But um, I keep threatening to have an FFO Palooza and I haven't done it yet. So, I don't know, I need to take lessons from Priscilla and Chelsea and just get it up, get it, you know, finished. But, uh, but yeah, so, <laughs> um, and I, I'm not, I'm not creative in that way in the sense of, like, finding new ways to finish things and, you know, different ways to finish things. I, I just, uh, um, I'm a little chicken about doing that. But I have made, you know, some little pillows and little things like that, um. I've done a few, and um, 
I have some some ideas for some some of the pieces that I have uh, in my little you know to be FFO pile. Um, but I you know I sort of am, am played with plagued with indecision as far as that's concerned. But anyway, so uh, in the meantime, I just keep starting new stuff and you know working on new projects. So, um, but anyway, so that's that's all uh, for tonight. Um, and hopefully I'll uh, make some significant pro progress on the Hello Pumpkin Sal, and I will have a, a better uh, recap uh, on Saturday. So, all right, I'll see you next time. Um, again, I'm Elizabeth Martinez, Fanta Stitches, and uh, this is Floss Tube Update number 66. I'll see you next time. Bye. Thanks.